Okay, hi there, this is Kim Willis again. I'm a little bit croaky today, but uh, I've, I've um, yeah, I think I was talking too much yesterday and I've, maybe I'm getting a cold, damn it. But uh, look, I've, uh, I want to do this uh, little wall, Facebook wall review, and I'm doing it for Judy, Judy Roberts. And uh, Judy is a member of our SOS group, our SOS family, Simple Online Success, yes. So, let's have a look here at Judy's wall. Okay, the first thing is that the wall is a closed wall. And that's a problem. Uh, that really is a problem because, um, you know, if you've got a closed wall, you're missing out on one of the big advantages of having an open wall, and that is, um, you're denying good people the opportunity to say something nice about you on your wall. Sure, you won't have any spam problems by keeping the wall closed, but uh, in my experience, spam problems are on the small side. You know, um, I get about one spam, spammy post a fortnight every two weeks or so. Um, Maybe maybe other people have more of a problem. Uh, my problem is minimal because partly because I've got more authority on my wall and people are less inclined to do it. So, number one objective, of course, is to get to that point where you've got more authority on your wall. But uh, in the interim, okay, you may get a bit more spam than what I get, but so what? Just remove it. It's not the big deal. Um, you really want to open it up so that you can have your friends saying nice things about you. And when you start doing it to other people, you are going to get some reciprocation. I've noticed this even in the last month or two uh, since I've been uh, posting on other people's walls. I'm talking posting, not commenting. That's a separate activity. Commenting is where you're making a comment on, other, on your friend's post. Uh, on the other hand, a post is where you're actually going to their wall and adding a post. You're saying something nice about them. Now, I want to say something nice about Judy, but I've been denied the I've been denied access. I've been denied the opportunity to do that. And uh, we talk about authority. This is one of the ways to build authority: to have people say good things about you, and uh, that will certainly be seen by some of uh, your friends and they'll become they'll, their impression of you will be improved, will be higher they'll have a higher impression of you, they will value you more okay, which is all part of the authority building process strategy, game plan alright, enough of that let's see what we've got here, okay Judy's got 489 friends, and I know that she's uh, made a commitment to keep uh, adding new friends. That's great. Uh, friends, particularly who are in the niche she's targeting, or in the niches, targeting multi or a couple of niches. Now let's have a look at the content here. She's got some good content. Meanwhile in Canada, the tree... I like that, the tree fainted. <laughs> well, we know what happened there, don't we? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Now, she's, she's doing the right thing here. She's sharing other people's content as well as posting her own. That's great. She's done it again. Free snowman, some assembly required. <laughs> What else? The big leap. Okay, yeah, I had a look at this before. This is uh, pretty good. She, this is her own content, and uh, she's a good writer. She's a good writer. Um, she already had those skills. She's putting them to good use. So this is this sort of thing. This will definitely help uh, with authority. Um, it's a slow build, but absolutely worth it in the long run. When I say it's a slow build, I'm. I'm saying it'll take a couple of months before, uh, you know, before you get 
some kind of a tangible benefit from these kinds of posts. Uh, you can create other text-based posts that have more impact, but uh, this is more of an educational type of post. Uh, so, you know, the, it's got a long tail. It, it, it will have the effect on people, and uh, it will that that effect will uh, perhaps multiply over the period. Now, uh, she so she's got a series here. So it's part five, part four. This is all good stuff. And then ultimately, when uh, if Judy uh, migrates to blogging, uh, all right, well, she's already got some raw material here, hasn't she? So I'll give that a like, give that a like, give that a like. Uh, what have we got here? You have a big heart, you are clever, and I know you're a good boy. What's that? The words and voice you use, your children become the inner voice, when they're adults. Here, a teacher uses kindness. Okay, another nice thing, another nice post here, yeah, feel good type of post, using acupuncture to sell. Uh, I'm not sure what that one's about. It's more of the series, the big leap. Now, one thing I'm going to suggest for you, Judy, is that you also start creating more, um, what should we call them, business oriented posts, such as tips. People love tips, like marketing tips. You're targeting. You're targeting marketers, you're targeting, one of your target markets is comprised of what we might call struggling marketers. So what you've got to do is have your messaging aligned with their thinking. Okay, they're struggling marketers for various reasons. One is that they're not generating leads. So anything that you can give them, like a tip of the day on generating leads, that's going to help. That really is going to help. And you can get this information That's really going to help. And you can get this information everywhere. You can get it from the SOS group. You can get it from other sources. You can go to my wall. I put these kind of tips up myself. And uh, you can rewrite them a bit yourself and then uh, you know, take them as your own. So uh, think of your target audience. Get really clear about your target audience and what they're looking for. Struggling marketers need more leads. They need leads that convert. So the hot buttons for them is to do with traffic, leads, quality leads, conversions, how to get easier conversions, uh, how to get away from push marketing and spamming because they're sick of it, right? How to use warm market methods. So anything like that is going to turn them on, all right? So uh, that's probably my standout tip for, for uh, you today, Judy, apart from the first one, which is to open up your, your wall. But uh, look, you, you, you're definitely well on the way here, and uh, you, you, you're getting a little bit of engagement, but uh, I think uh, as you build your friend count, as you build your numbers, and as you get your targeting more precise, you really hit the spot with your target audience where they say, hey, that, that, that hits me, that, that really... Um, yeah, that, yeah, she's talking to me. I feel like she's talking to me. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I really love this idea. I really love this tip. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, keep an eye out for this this Judy Roberts person. In fact, I'm going to make a comment right now to thank her. See, so when they thank you, of course, uh, you're going to you're going to show up in their uh, their news feed. Now, um, yeah, so uh, you're. So when, you, when they make a comment, you're going to show up in their news feed. So relevance is absolutely key to this process. We want to be really relevant. <laughs> so relevant, relevant content. Okay, now let me just do finish off, just have a quick look at the About section here. Now we're in the Details About the Judy section, and we see that there is blank space. Facebook has given you the opportunity to tell a story, so that's what you need to do. It, it could be, it could be a, I don't know, just a sentence. It could be a paragraph. It could be more than that. It's up to you. Um, mine, the one that I've got is is somewhat long, but it's uh, somewhat amusing as well. So I think it's an easy read. Uh, it just conveys to people that I'm a little bit of an irreverent sort of a person, and yeah. 
Uh, that's that's my style. Your style, different. Uh, you could put in some favorite quotes as well, because when you start improving your content, when you, in other words, when you con you've got good content there now, but when you start adding some really relevant content for your target audience, they are more inclined to really check you out because now they're sitting up and taking notice and uh, they're really going to check you out. So they will go and have a look at your profile and they'll have a look at details about Judy. So um, you want them to get to know you a bit better. It's all about no like and trust, isn't it? So that's basically it. All right, Judy, this is great. You're definitely heading in the right direction. I take my hat off to you. You're a smart lady and I, I Boy, I'm excited about your future, no question about it. So uh, let's continue on down this pathway and I look forward to working with you some more. This is Kim Willis. Bye for now.